goalkeeper, you'd have to go for Peter Schmeichel. I think it's fairly obvious because he was so con consistent over his, his period here that he was the number one goalkeeper considered in the world for the majority of the time that he was here. So it's a fairly easy choice. Crossed it again and a good one. And not it down. A wonderful save by Schmeichel. You won't find a better save anywhere than that. It was past him and he got it away. That is an unbelievable save. I'd have to go for uh, Dennis Orman, fellow countryman. He gave incredible service to United. I think the manager described him as probably his best, one of his definitely one of his best boys. Um, I'd have to go for Gary Neville, the other fullback. Gary's proved that he was in the Premiership team. I think the ten-year team overall, and uh, he's proved so consistent. He's still one of the best defenders around. Um, Central defensive, I think at the moment there's a few players around I could make it into, it, but I'd, you'd have to go for the Bruce and Pallister combination because obviously they were so renowned for being so so tough and uncompromising. You'd have to go for that, for that pair. This is Tommy Johnson. Dean Saunders pulling away to the near post. Johnson shot, great block by Gary Pallister. Really good defending by the England man. It's a terrific header from Gary Pallister. That's Steve Bruce. Goodness, what a start. Tony DeRiga, well forward. Yabara going in, fine defending by Bruce. Midfield. Um, I'd have to go another countryman in, in the middle, Mr. Keane. Mr Keane and I think Brian Robson, those two uh, would be a match for anybody, nobody would like to come up against those two. Here's Scholes, oh and Roy Keane, Keane scores for Manchester United. And then on the left I'd go for Giggsy, because he's obviously, he's been an amazing player since he came on the scene and to keep up that standards that he set so early in his age and to keep that year after year and to be written off so many times and come back again. He, de he deserves to be any team, team of the decade, or best ever 11. It's Giggs. It's not bad, is it? All those years of standing by the ball as David Beckham's decoy have just come spectacularly to an end for Ryan Giggs. Um, on the right side, um, I'd have to go for probably Mr Beckham. It was uh, departed, but he gave great service and he had such a good quality. He, d he deserved to be in there. David Beckham. And Manchester United's much needed victory is on the way. <laughs> Up front, I'd have to go for Van der Man. He's obviously proven. It's an incredible record he has in the Champions League and and in the Premiership. Obviously, they said maybe the second season is the toughest, but like it was incredible his record in the second season. Keen. Oh, Van Nistelrooy this time. He can't keep giving him chances. That is his 50th Premiership goal, and there is that share of yet another record by scoring it in 10 consecutive top division matches. Alongside him, he'd have to go for Eric Cantona. I think it's fairly. Uh, I was thinking you're leaving out players like Mark Hughes, other players like that. But for what he'd done at the time with the club when they won the, the league for, I think it was 90, the first time in 26 years. But he was part of bringing the young lads on as well and helping them a lot. So just for his influence, you'd have to have him there.